Hey everybody, it's Norm from Tested. And Kishore from Tested. Kishore, I have a yoga ball here. Why do you have a yoga ball? You know, it's one of these exercise balls, you see them in the office all the time, and I've always wondered how much force would it take to pop one? Could I sit on this, bounce on it, and blow it? Well, how much have you been eating lately? Uh, well, not as much as I used to. But still, you know, a couple hundred pounds, what, is that all it would take? I don't, don't know. know. Well, that's what we're here to find out. We're here at Westpac and they are? They're a product testing facility and we're going to put this yoga ball under some compression strain today. See how much it would take. What do you think? Let's say 1,000 pounds. 1,000, 1,500 pounds. I think a ton, a full 2,000 pounds. Wow, Price is Right rolls? Yeah, let's see. Okay. This is a pretty interesting failure on yeah. this yoga ball. Now, it's not the old type of yoga ball. This one's made out of more of a foam-like material, mm -hmm. and it's meant to more shear like this in terms of its failure instead right. of like exploding. like a latex balloon, which would then split and shred to pieces, uh, which is a testament to design, but most importantly, you won the bet. I did, it was about 2,700 pounds of compression on top of this before it burst. That's me plus a lot of Red Robin burgers. Yeah, I think you got a few more to put away before you have to worry about this. What I found interesting is like, basically manufacturers are testing a yoga ball per every lot mm -hmm. to ensure that, you know, every ball they send out is going to work to specifications. So if somebody jumps on it or eats too many Robin burgers, it's not failing because of their design. It's failing because of some defect the user might have put into it. And the compression machine that we got to use here at Westpac basically is like, the hydraulic press, and it goes up to 15,000 pounds, which we also got a demo of, and turn basically your styrofoam. Went full Frank Castle. Into a sheet of plastic. It, it, this is incredible how it, uh, this packing material, I mean, we were just basically using a styrofoam that you'll see every day in containers around the world, and this compressed, but it just went flat. It never broke apart in a way that I would expect. So it's just a testament to how strong that material is. So when you see styrofoam, it might not be the most environmentally friendly material, but it works. Totally works. And they have so many more other testing devices here at this facility. We'll be coming back using more of their machines and also learning about how these machines work. Until then, we'll see you next time.